Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. You can clearly see what today's video is about. I've got the full lineup of Halo Infinite Series 1 blind bag. Seven gorgeously cast figures and one micro build pelican make up the very first wave of the Halo Infinite blind bags. And you know, Mega Constructs has gone down a different approach by naming it Halo Infinite Series 1. It was no surprise to many because they have been struggling with the identity of the blind bags for a while. We went from Series 1 to 9, then we started with Alpha and went through lots of numbers. Then we've been going on themed ones, maybe themed color schemes like Warrior, or themed games like Clash on the Ring, Battle for the Ark. Really, they needed to start from scratch, they needed to start from Halo Infinite. That's clearly what they're only going to be focusing on now. So it makes sense that this is series one of Halo Infinite blind bags. Today we will be answering the question, should you buy these blind bags? My answer immediately is of course, look at them. They're Halo Infinite blind bags. And I will also be telling you at the end of the video how you can win this Brohammer Pelican pilot. Okay, so we'll start with commons leading up to rares. I'll go through each one, go through what works, what maybe doesn't work quite so well. There are some pros and some cons of this series, as always. We'll start with the commons. And really, the, the thing that surprises most people about this set is the AC Master Chief is a common. And I guess that's where we'll start today with this AC John 117. This is a Halo Infinite Master Chief, and there isn't much to say other than he looks gorgeous. I love this AC look. It just reminds me of so many epic spots and so many epic figures from the past. My very first blind bag figure ever was the Series 1 Master Chief. So to bring it home with the Series 1 Master Chief in this set as well, it really makes sense. I mean, the start of Mega Bloks and now the start of Halo Infinite blind bags start with the AC Chief. I love it. It comes with this scopeless battle rifle, a nice display stand, and is perfect for starting your Halo Infinite dioramas. The next ones, I mean, really the rest of the figures are just army builders, which is also equally as strange why this one is a common figure. But the rest of them, these are the most army building figures of the set. We've got the three very obvious army builders. I mean, the Elite, Grunt, and Marine, pretty much in standard armor builds. I must say this Grunt took me by surprise. He's got a really nice amount of detail. This like nice light blue work that runs through his mask. And then this tank, surprisingly, has a couple of pieces to it. It's these little gems that you can pack on there and it really gives a nice 3D effect. It's a nice added buildable aspect to it. These grenades, like I said in my previous video, they haven't changed mold since the very beginning, but this time they've come in a brand new color. This sort of light blue glassed over effect, it works really nicely because you can see different volumes of blue running through the grenade. And that's pretty much the perfect thing to have with a grenade, it's excellent. They've also varied the colors of all the display bases, which is a really nice touch. I didn't think they would ever do that, but I guess some people might not like it because it doesn't look like a full set. They're not on the same background, if you get what I mean. But I like it a lot. I mean, it just gives some variety. It just, you can vary your base pieces depending on what terrain you've got. So the Grunt is an excellent army building figure. Comes in some really simple colors, but these studs and the detailing on his mask really make him stand out as a figure in this set. And also, he's massive. He's so large compared to the other figures as well. Okay, we've got the Marine next. Now, a lot of people have different things to say about this Marine. Now, it doesn't come with any shoulders, which, you know, it seems a bit cheap, and it doesn't even come with any leg straps. It is a super basic Marine, but they have the new removable helmet. Mine kind of looks like he's seen a ghost. The removable helmets are cool, especially with the Marine customizer pack. I think I'll have a lot of good things to say about them. But in this set, all you're left with is a Marine that if you remove the helmet, he's been shot in the head with a needle round. He's met the same male fate as cat and it's a little pointless but I think I will enjoy it a lot more when I can interchange the helmets with the Marine Customizer Pack. His base color is this nice army green, but he does actually have some kind of speckling effects through some of the pieces. So you can see like dark green dots appearing. It adds this nice camo effect. Base coat on his chest matches nicely with his helmet. 
and then he's got this lighter brown as well. The assault rifle is awesome with the removable scope and he's got these ball joint feet, which is a really nice feature. Brand new on the Marines, gives a little more posability, a little more flexibility to have him like aiming in a certain direction but keeping his feet pretty steady. So a really cool Marine. He'll be fighting off with that grunt in the background because we've got the Elite. This one, I was very excited to get my hands on and the sword has the same effect as this plasma grenade. And because of this glass effect, you'll see that no two swords are the same which adds a really nice uniqueness to them. And you know, the Elite itself, people could say that it was quite basic. It's definitely not got some of the highlighted features that some Elites do have in Mega Constructs. For example, the lights under the chest, but it is a very nice figure. A black undersuit with this gorgeous metallic purple. It's got a different colored head, which I like. It gives you the idea that this is a full jumpsuit and this is the only part of his flesh that's exposed. Other than that, I mean, it's just a really nice purple metallic figure. I don't think it needed to be that detailed. I think Mega Bloks nailed the figure. And that leaves just one more common figure. Another one that I don't believe needs much of an introduction, this Mark 7. I noted in my blind bag opening video that it has a slightly different colored head. I think that's a mold and casting issue from different kinds of plastic between the head and the armor. But Mark 7 is the new armor that clearly 343 are going to rely on in Halo Infinite. It's their main armor and really, if you're going to pick a main armor, definitely choose something that feels like Noble Six. It's familiar to everyone, it makes everyone feel at home. I think this is a fantastic figure. I'm really excited to see what Mega Constructs does with this Spartan and this is a perfect basic example of what's to come. All right, we are moving on to the rares of the set. We've got the Brohammer and the Spartan Gungnir. We'll go for the Gungnir first because I have the most to say about it. The Gungnir is the perfect way to show off as a company how well you do your molds. You have this helmet that has a yellow dot it's got a yellow stripe down it, white and dark gray, and the yellow under highlight of the helmet. I mean, there's so much going on here. And again, Mega Constructs doing so well with these dual colors in their limbs, and then they can match the second color of the limb to the helmet. It makes the figure pop beautifully. It's got an old carbine, which seems like a very strange choice, but nothing that I complain about. It's completely fine. And really just a perfect mold, perfect choice of colors, and I can't wait to see how many more of this they make. I mean, I love all of the Gungnirs. I especially love the Spartan Armor Pack Gungnir. I will collect these all day long. This guy, this is uh, like kind of an anomaly for me, this Brohammer. I can see clearly on the Mega Constructs Domain Facebook page that it is the one that's gathered the most hype. People are really excited to get it. I don't know. Unless I see that there are holograms in Halo Infinite of Brohammer, then I'm skeptical as to why you would bother making a hologram of this guy. To have eight figures in this set, two of them being trans figures and one of them being a micro build, that doesn't leave much options for your other figures. So I really would have had this as a secret rare, but that's only a minor complaint. He's got the sidekick pistol, which is really cool to see in that blue color. This soft plastic belt, I've kept on saying is awesome for an engineer. They've designed that really well. The helmet slides on nicely and the hole in the head is not as visible because it is a translucent figure. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's definitely gonna go on center stage of my collection and you should definitely pick it up and you should definitely try and win it in today's video. If you had this as the ultra rare and then you had this one as a secret rare, that would not only build more hype for your set, but I think also just make a lot more sense. And the final build in this set is the Pelican. If you have been watching my videos, you know that I love these builds. These micro builds are to die for. They're just so cool. And I especially like this Pelican because it has a lot of posability. If you watch a Pelican land or take off in the games, it changes the direction of its thrusters and its wings, which you can do in this set. And you have a different approach to the base plate for this one where it swivels. It's sort of on this joint where you can move it and you can have it like circling through the air or straight up. And posability on such a small set is very impressive indeed. I believe we also do get this Pelican in the builder's box. I'll see pretty soon when I open mine. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Halo Infinite figures. If this does not get you hyped for Halo Infinite, I don't know what will. 
Look at these guys. We're going back to the original question of this video. Should you buy Halo Infinite Blind Bay? I think you can answer that yourself, of course. We've got some of the best army building figures ever with this Grunt, the Elite, and the Marine. The Mark VII is a perfect little introduction to Halo Infinite. And then the AC Master Chief just brings me back to the glory days of Mega Bloks. The Gungnir has some epic paint apps for a very cheap figure. And the Bro Hammer, while I wouldn't have included him in the main lineup, he's pretty cool. This was another review with the domain. To win this Pelican Pilot, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on that bell, and comment down below saying, we need to run, no, we need to fight. And I'll pick one of you at random and send the Brohammer flying over to your house. And the Master Chief in all his AC glory is signing off. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun.